Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm Cameron and welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. Can you believe an entire week of Vlogmas has gone by? And just before it ends, I wanted to give you guys my top 10 movie recommendations for the festive season. While I was decorating my tree, I remember telling you guys how the festive season wouldn't be the festive season without your classic Christmas movies. Guys, this is the only time of the year where you get to watch and re-watch all of those classics that, you know, bring the family together, that set the mood for the season and are just overall just good vibes. So today I'll be sharing with you my top 10 Christmas movies. These are all my favorites. I will be rating them according to the IMBD score, but also according to which ones are my favorites, which ones I watch quite often and which ones I recommend to you guys for the festive season. For Christmases. Now this movie is about a couple that goes and visits their four divorced parents on Christmas. The main characters Brad and Kate are played by Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn, so you know it's a good one. And overall the plot is about this couple that really really hates Christmas because of all the experiences they've had in their lives. So they would rather be traveling to a different country and that's something they've been doing every single year. But then this year they decide let's go and visit our families, find out what happens in every single situation and how they handle their dysfunctional families. I'm not trying to be your father. You already got one of those. I'm just hoping for a chance to be your friend. You were my friend, Daryl. You were my best friend. We grew up together, we rode bikes together, we used to smell each other's hands. But now you're sleeping with my mom and it's a little bit weird for me. Can you appreciate that? I never had a sexual thought about your mom until I was 30. Can you leave it alone? You can't be my friend anymore. We have Ghosts of Girlfriend's Past. This one is about a serial womanizer that attends his brother's wedding and is haunted by all of his ex-girlfriends. So the next movie is slightly newer than the rest. This movie was released last year and it's called Something from Tiffany's. It's about a girl called Rachel and her boyfriend Gary and another guy called Ethan and they are in a bit of a mix up. So after her boyfriend Gary gets hit by a car outside of the Tiffany store, Rachel wrongfully assumes that her boyfriend wants to marry her after finding a ring box in his belongings. But in fact, that ring belonged to Ethan who was performing first aid on her boyfriend. So we're gonna see how that whole triangle works out. Another new Christmas movie is Love Hard. This movie was released in 2001 and it has a lot of your up and coming actors and actresses as well as some Asian actors that I love to see. And this movie is about a writer that finds her perfect match on an online dating app. She wants to surprise him for Christmas and when she does, she finds out that she's actually being catfished. This movie was hilarious, it was cute, it was everything. I enjoyed every single minute of it. So I hope that you guys do watch some of these new ones as well. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And I love the Jim Carrey version. Who doesn't love an over-caffeinated Jim Carrey? I mean, he plays the Grinch so, so well. And the Grinch is a live adaptation of the beloved tale by Dr. Seuss. And he is this animated character that decides to ruin Christmas for every citizen of Hoosville. And he has a little dog named Max. They go around and they sneak around town trying to swipe every holiday related thing in Hoosville. So if you love Jim Carrey and you love a Dr. Seuss tale, this movie is perfect for you. It's a family friendly movie. And I guess everybody needs to watch The Grinch. Oh well, it's just toys, right? Hi, Mr. Grinch! <gasps> what are you doing up there? I came to see you. No one should be alone on Christmas. Next we have The Holiday. What is Christmas without the holiday? This is one of my mom's favorite movies and I can totally understand why. We have Kate Winslet, we have Jude Law, we have Cameron Diaz. Guys, this movie is everything Christmas in one. So the movie is basically about 
two troubled women that have guy problems. They switch homes in each country. One is living in LA, the other one is living in London, and they each meet a local guy and fall in love. So without giving too much away, The Holiday is an amazing movie. It shows you two different perspectives of what the festive season looks like in both countries, and then also about, you know, just love and life and everything in between. The Elf movie. What is the festive season without the Elf movie? So the Elf, played by Will Ferrell, his name is Buddy and he travels from the North Pole to New York City to find his biological father. So his biological father named Walter Hobbs, he doesn't know he exists, but he's in desperate need of some Christmas spirit. I ruined your lives and crammed 11 cookies into the VCR. I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere. I'll never forget you. Love, buddy. God. Bad Santa. Now, when I was decorating this Christmas tree, I was playing it in the background and I told you guys that this is one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's super, super hilarious. It's really about the consman and his elf that rob department stores on Christmas Eve. The consman is miserably drunk and he really hates his life and then this one Christmas Eve everything kind of changes when he befriends um, this little kid and you just see how his perspective of life kind of changes. The Family Stone. If you're the kind of person that watches a movie because of the famous actors and actresses, you're going to love this one. We have Sarah Jessica Parker, Diane Keaton, Rachel McAdams, all your all-time favorites all in one movie. So this movie is about a girlfriend that visits her partner's family for the first time. Her partner's family, however, are abnormally close and unbearable. So without giving too much away, this movie movie is a really good family movie. It observes a lot of different family dynamics and overall we just have great performances from all your favorite actors and actresses. Our classic Christmas movie is Home Alone. I watched this movie growing up. I watched all the Home Alones but specifically the first Home Alone. That's my favorite one and that is about an eight-year-old Kevin and his family, the McAllister family. They go on holiday to Paris but they accidentally leave him behind. He's a bit of a troublemaker and on Christmas Eve he's left to defend his home against these burglars on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas little fella. We know that you're in there and that you're all alone. Yeah come on kid open up. It's Santa Claus and it's Elf. We're not gonna hurt you. No, no. Got some nice presents for you. Be a good little fella now and open the door. Shoot! <laughs> what? 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 What happened? Get that little thing. <laughs> So those were my top rated Christmas movies. I hope that you guys do end up watching them. Tell me what you think of them. Recommend some movies to me down in the comment section. I love watching movies and especially right now because of the Christmas vibes, I love watching Christmas movies. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.